In this part of the tutorial we will link each work item to the requirements implemented by it and to the test cases that verify it. The extracted data will be inserted in the last two columns of the work items table. Insert a container element inside the requirements cell. For extracting the requirements we will iterate each element of type requirement and verify for each of them if the implemented by element is the same with the current work item. Drag the data source element query inside the container. Select a list element from the palette and drop it inside the container. Select the cell and go to Zoom Editor. The Zoom Editor places the focus on a specific template element and provides better visibility. Drag the data source artifact traceability links implemented by query to the list element. We do this in order to iterate through all the requirements links from the implemented by element. Drag the implemented by content element to the list detail. Insert a text element inside the list detail. Drag the data source artifact title query to the text element. Select use as value context. We want to display only those requirements that have a link to the currently iterated work item. In order to do this we will add a condition to the list detail element. Right click on the element, select data and edit condition. The set condition window will appear. Select the work item ID from the left. And the link identifier. These two elements must be equal. Select template content to go back to the template editor. In the next step we will add all the test cases related to a work item. In order to do this, we will iterate all the test cases and verify if the test case work item element is the same with the current work item element. We must add a new data source schema to extract the test cases. Select the Add Data Source Schema button. Select the REST Schema type and introduce the schema location. The data source name will be RESTQM. The data source schema will appear on the left side of the template editor together with the other schemas. The RESTQM data source will be configured dynamically. Select the data source configuration element from the palette and drop it before the work items table. In the outline panel, right click on variables list and insert a new variable. Set the variable name to base URL. Make sure the variable has external access. The external variable will be provided with a value in the document specification. Select the data source configuration element. In the properties panel, go to formatting, data and set the target data source to rest QM. After that,
configure the dynamic array. The URI will be composed of the base URL variable content and an XPath that extracts all the test cases children elements from the data source schema. Introduce your Jazz username and password. Add a list element to the last cell from the table. Select the cell and choose Zoom Editor. Expand the feed, entry, content, test case, element and drag the query to the list. Add a container inside the list. Drag the list detail element inside the container. Drag the test case, work item, element to the container. Add a text element to the list detail. Double click on the text element to modify its content. Select data expression. Select the test case title element. We want to display only those text cases that have the same work item value as the current work item. Right click on the list detail element and select data, edit condition. Select the work item ref value. This should be equal to the test case work height and ref value. If we compare two attributes with different parents in the data tree, but with the same name, one of them will be assigned an alias name. Switch back to the template content editor. Save the document template. Switch to our PE launcher to configure the document specification. The external variable will appear in the variables list. Set the variable value. The REST QM data source does not need to be configured in the document specification because it is configured at runtime. Introduce your Jazz username and password. Insert the work items data source URL by replacing with your own server name and port and your CLM username and password. Select the run button to generate the document.